Hi guys, Paul with Mike. Maniacs Mead Podcast. We're doing a little legacy, uh, legacy verse stuff right now. We're doing Rotten Harvest, and uh, which is the sequel to Harvest of Blood. We would just watch both, and they're interesting films. Interesting films. Of course, the uh, the written by uh, Munden and uh, Rico, uh, which is Richard that and that was the Reaper in the other films. And uh, oh, wait, there's wait, we we might have stopped. Sorry, is there another one? Is there something going on right now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Still alive. Oh. Uh oh, that's it. That's all it is. He's just gonna go find another life to ruin. He's still alive. And okay, because I was about to bitch about that. Look at that. We weren't expecting that. Sorry well, to sorry about that. To, to hold this off for a second. I think they they made a fake one just to do that. <laughs> anyway, so they corrected Harvest of Blood so they could make Rotten Harvest, um, where Rico, the piece of shit, lives. So then they can find him and make Rotten Harvest. So there you go. We just found out. This is live as you have as we yeah we, yeah, we, we, we were ju- we literally just we just it. found this out. So, Harvest of Blood first. What do you think? I thought it was kind of shit, but yeah. in a yeah, it was a uh, it was a little little dark. Um, I my biggest gripe with it. Well, see the thing is, we watched Rotten Harvest first. We did watch Rotten Harvest first. So, with the pretense that the family owns half of Sandusky, you're not going to film a film in a burnout trailer. Yeah. Basically. And, like, and, and I get, like, you work with what you have. Yes. Um, but if the, that means truncate your storyline. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I, I There's a lot of, of... Here, let's do a compliment sandwich. Let's do it. Let's do that. Compliment sandwich. Um, I love the idea of Mr. Boo. Mr. Boo. I think the name is great. I think it's a cool like mm-hmm. concept and yep. everything. Yep. So that was really good. At least for uh Blood Harvest. Harvest yeah. of Blood. Harvest Blood. Harvest yeah. Blood. Um I find it difficult in that I didn't really feel there was a protagonist. No. Like everyone in the film was kind of a I don't like anybody. Yeah, I, I I wasn't really rooting for anybody. Yeah. I was just kind of I watching. I wasn't even rooting for the kid. Like, yeah, I was, I was just, just I was nobody. just I didn't kind care of about watching it. Which and, was and, the, and 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 Harvest the Body is a little bit dark, kind of like this is. Mm-hmm. Poorly poorly lit it lit it poorly poorly lit it lit it lit it lit it. But no, it just it's one of those play. ones where and we were hoping for maybe like a good kill with that a neighbor bitch who plays another girl. And the other the thing is, I know you have a limited cast, but. Never have the same actor play different people in the same sequels. It's, it's difficult. Sometimes. It's difficult. So, uh, and her kill was literally a, like a, basically a cantaloupe with a wig on it, which I actually off. quite enjoyed. Uh, it was, <laughs> I, I personally really liked. But that. at the same time, you were the one going yeah. for good. good yeah, I was kill, like, good, good kill, good kill, good kill, and, and then it, was, it happened. And, we like, oh, and I was like, all right, not a good kill, but really enjoyable. Yeah, but it was still still works. Um, but. Uh, Mr. Boo did not use tools in the second one. He used his hands. Yes. Hands of death. He was like Bruce Lee. Um, yeah, and, you know, I, I definitely feel like, at least this one compared to when we watched the Reaper series, uh, the cinematography in these, uh, I think... Rotten I think, Harvest. I think it was bad. Rotten Harvest cinematography... The cinematography was good. Was good. Establishing shots yep. and everything. Yep. There, was some, there was some good... Just there, like, there, they tried to round shots. out characters. I mean, and, like, and, I, kind of and a, I actually quite enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah. I quite enjoyed that. There, the, the plot, if you watch Rotten Harvest, the plot from both films kind of expands. Yeah. You know what I mean? The point of everything. I almost felt like... and. Maybe I'm Mr. Boo really, has no maybe, backstory. Maybe I was way. really missing something, but uh, I, I almost feel like you could do something in between Rotten Harvest or Harvest of Blood and Rotten Harvest. Yeah, like well, like, it seems like Rotten Harvest or Harvest of Blood was a setup to a bigger. Yes, and then Rotten Harvest is the closure of the bigger. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. That's that's the kind of way I thought like, about. He it starts too. off as a scumbag that abuses women, kills his family. Gets with this fucking mob boss bitch kind of deal expands yeah. and then Rotten Harvest yeah. is only just the ending of and that like, middle if, part. If there was a middle film where 
we really became invested in Rico, I think the character's name yes. is. If we really became invested in him, it would make Rotten Harvest hit a lot uh, His name is Dean. Dean. Yes, but he is Rico. He is in, Rico. In the real world. In the real world. I had in the real world. But yes, but no, Lots that that kind of thing. And uh, by the way, just uh, just shout out to everyone who was uh, taking part of the uh, original film that shouted out to us and uh, yeah. got back on our comments. It was really great. It was uh, great. Mundine and Davis and Rico just all kind of shouted us yeah. out. And, kind and of... even if we are shitting on your movies, which I don't think we really are. Not honestly. really. I mean, we, um, we do really enjoy things like yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, no, it's I, I fun. think we ultimately really it's great. do. And we still have Infected to do after yeah. this as well. Which so, I'm looking forward yes, to. Yes, exactly. So, no, but we're having great times. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a great times doing it, and we're uh, enjoying what you guys do. And, of course, uh, Mr. Boo, uh, Rick Davis being the sexiest star in the world. Yeah, absolutely. 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 So, I mean, it's knocking just... Knocking him out of the park. No, knocking him. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, uh, nothing but However, dinners. if you're going to stab corner to somebody, stab him in the eye and the mouth or yeah, the, or the I, as a, as a as the a, ear. As a person that grew up across the street from a cornfield... Yes. Uh, you're not doing that with any of your corn. No, no. Unless it's magical but corn. I will from say Mr. kind of something. If it was a little bit, if they, now just walk with me. I'm with you. Let's say the Go guy, the little uh, juggalo or whatever the hell he mm. was that was trying to basically a guy that definitely doesn't have a real job in real life. But if he was like trying to crawl away, like, mm. and he got him in the ear this way with the king cor the corn, with the ear, you know, wait, wait, like, <laughs> in the ear, the ear. Yeah, I mean, that is the joke, but it would have been more like Dawn of the Dead where he put the screwdriver in the guy's ear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they shot this in Monroeville, Ohio. Yeah, which is only one Monroeville. We would like to make that... That's uh, perfectly clear. Yeah, we were very upset about that. No There's other one Monroe Monroeville, and it's, it's in, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, no other Monroevilles exist in the world. Um, but it was interesting. It was great. Uh, I like the uh, like the ear-to-ear -ear reference, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. But like, you know, ear-to-eye, ear-to-mouth. And the uh, in Ron Harvest, the guy with the bolo tie. I the bolo not, tie I didn't guy. Catch the name. I didn't write uh, down. Or I, what, what I had the name, and I actually his name is uh, Tim Hale. I want to say. Is it Tim? Is it Tim Hale? I, I actually quite enjoyed Tim's yeah. uh, acting in that. Yeah. It's either. And, and yeah. I know this is all like a growing thing for everybody. Mm -hmm. At least my my understanding. Yeah. Like, you know, you're doing independent stuff, and it's and it's tricky. But it was. I, I thought he was. I thought he was yeah. really enjoyable. If you're gonna get uh, such a large man to hold a tiny gun, get a bigger gun. Get yeah, a bigger gun. Bigger gun. He should have a shotgun. Yeah. Body I think positive though. We're body positive. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're body positive because I am a tubby boy, but with a tiny penis. But the thing is, like a big shotgun, like a pumper, would have probably looked better. Yeah. Than a little like tiny that. gun, like. Give the juggle a little gun he can hold sideways because obviously he's an uneducated piece of shit. Uh, but like things like that. The yeah. other, other side note is uh, running through a cornfield, again, having grown up across the street from a cornfield, you always throw a hand out in front when you, you run through a cornfield. Because yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you something. Like there are spider webs like a bastard yeah. in a cornfield. And uh, the uh, the leaves on, uh, here's a corner. It's rather sharp actually. Yeah, yeah, They'll yeah. slice you up a bit. Well, so. the thing is, again... I mean, it's just one of those ones where the plot, maybe the storyline kind of got me off a little bit because yeah. you're getting like, these people own half the Sandusky. Well, if you own half the Sandusky, you have money. People with money don't dress like scumbags. And let, I mean, like Ohio is different. Ohio is full of scumbags. But like, you know, not like Pennsylvania, which is all wonderful. But the, you know, not, not really. But the, uh, you know. Look at you, us. If you want to have somebody that owns half a Sandusky, you probably want somebody with like a dental plan, or like uh, <laughs> things like some uh, you know some kind of fitness uh, things. I don't know. It's just uh, kind of like I'm I'm looking like that nice. film shows me like a defunct biker gang. Yeah, more. that's the way I felt. Yeah, that's it, too. Like, it seems way like more a, of a like a gritty, gritty like, like, like not not saying that gang. they couldn't have power or money or anything. But it definitely felt more of They're like... They're on the other side a, of the like, tracks. Yes. Yes. It's yes. Not, not so much yes. like, you know... Yeah, it's that... Except month. for the bolo guy. I felt like he... The bolo kind of guy fit, was like, right on point. Yeah, it was I felt on like point. he fit with what the idea was. Yes. But the, the rest, concept the, the rest right of the costuming didn't really quite match no. for me. No, Um Or the general... And I don't, I don't say this to be mean, but the just the general appearance of the characters right, didn't exactly. really yeah. match up with what. But I was at the same expecting. time, it, I mean, it's who you cast too, because I don't want to see Toothy McGee 
in a three piece suit either. Mm -hmm. You know, with that mm -hmm. accent, you know, pretending to be Italian or something like that. Like I didn't, I didn't want to see that either. So it's just one of those ones where the storyline and the characters. They were right for a different storyline, but they weren't right for that one. Or yeah. the storyline wasn't right for, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was one I, of those kind I, of deals. I think some rewrites or something would have yeah, been. Yeah, would have been, been just a little, five. just take five minutes, re see what you're yeah. working with, and then rewrite the yeah. story. Like, I know that you have a tale that you want to tell, yes. but with what you can work with, and I know it sucks, but exactly. you might have to rework things yes. to get it the way you want it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not going to... I mean, if you're gonna cast us, you're not gonna cast fucking Brad and Tom, you know, Tom, you know, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna rewrite exactly. that for us. Yeah, in my, <laughs> in my <laughs> like, days with hair, it would have yeah, been like Simon they, Pegg would have played. Exactly. Them or they don't like. go to a five star restaurant and you know seduce you know millionaires women. Yeah. We're gonna go to a, a local, dive bar, a dive bar, and seduce crack horse. I mean, that's something like we're that. gonna rewrite that's it like the for speed. us. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, like that's you work with you work with what you got, exactly. and I understand that there's a story that you want to tell, and you have the idea that you want, but if you're not able to bring it to fruition, um, you know, maybe table it. Or yeah. drastically rewrite and this, something. And obviously, we're not talking about rewriting or redoing these films because they're done. They're in yeah. the bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like when we, when we reviewed legacy films before and we said about the upshots being stopped yeah. the upshots. Upshots are to, are to empower people. Downshots are to enable people. So, And there was a lot of that. But everyone was getting the same upshots, so you didn't really understand yeah, what yeah. was going on. Usually do straight shots. You know, upshots for and, empowering, downshots for enfeebling. Yeah, and this it felt like there was like there was still some upshots, but they weren't as drastic. They weren't as drastic they were, yeah, at I, all. I, thought that, I, I didn't not. think the cinematography yes. was much. And uh, things are getting better. You know, more on point um, in this one. But it's just little things. Yeah. Like honestly, if you would have taken out the own half Sandusky thing and just turned into like a trust fund, almost biker gang yeah. old vibe. Right. Everything kind of would have or, or, or elaborate more like, when they say like, we own half San, half of Sandusky, like, own it like, own it like the pagans. The gang owns it. Like, it. Like, the like, gang owns it. We like, run the drugs like, we this just, way. Yeah, like, we provide like, protection. It, or like, it, it's just to, to put yeah. it to the level that the film is set in. Yeah, I'm not saying down downplay the characters. I'm just saying put it into more context that makes sense with the environment it's yeah. shot in. Yeah. Because the trailer, the this and that, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of mentality. Or you like and then they go, like like Dean isn't trying to be an upscale, I just spent all day trading stocks. Like like obviously he worked at a shipyard sucking dicks. You know I mean like it's one of those kind of deals. Like he came home and he hates everything about his life. Yeah. But he didn't I think go. He was a drywaller. The only thing I say is because yeah. on the back of his sweater there was like white powder. Oh, he was either a coquette or a drywaller, and that makes sense. Yeah, you know that what I mean? That's what I was getting at. Yeah, I, I like build houses hard, for assholes hard, that I can't. Hard-working guy. Yeah, they build houses that are nicer than he can afford. But yeah, I, I think that was one of my big gripes. I didn't, I didn't feel a big um, attachment to the protagonist. No, and I know at the end, the little end there, where we're right at the beginning of this, when there was some stuff going on, it. it and I missed some of it because the volume was turned down really low, but it almost sounded like they were talking about Mr. Boo as being the good guy. Yeah. Um, but why is he a good guy? Why yeah. is he here? Like, why is he doing his things? Did, Those kind of things are Do we think it really... is the, the spirit of the uh, child? I wouldn't say it's the spirit of the child because he was already talking to the fucking guy before. So he already has some kind of thing going about him, but yeah. that, it wasn't explained. Unless there's another film that we don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Because we're very new to the yeah. legacy version, right? No, we're <laughs> well, I mean, we're not. We're 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 just we're putting our franchise or empire. <laughs> yeah, we're putting our toes into the pool of legacy verse. But like, it's just one of those things. But we had a good time watching it. Yeah, I I, I do enjoy I do enjoy their stuff. So, what do you consider it. about Harvest of Blood and Rotten Harvest as a as an average moviegoer and a diehard movie? I don't think an average moviegoer is going to like it. No, I think it's going to be like a one out of ten. Yeah. But uh, we're and, talking about average film goers. Um, I I enjoy. Oh no, that no. we're doing a three rating, right? Because yeah, we're, we're doing, doing a horror, average horror guy. Yeah, we're gonna have like a four out of ten, yeah. maybe like that. Now, what about an independent guy? I would give this probably like a six, a six, a six, yeah, six. six. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed the Reaper series more. Oh no, it was so much better. Like I it was the so much, much more. They they spent time and love making the uh, Reaper yeah, series. Yeah, I, I, I and. and yeah, and uh, not that, you know, I don't think, I'm sure this was definitely, I, I think when you're doing any independent filmmaking yes. or anything, 
there is a certain amount of love and uh, commitment to yes. the project that goes and, into uh, it. Was it Essence of Evil? I mean, the yeah. the the female vampire was yeah. in this one. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think with the Reaper series, uh, they felt it more. No, they did. I, they I they think, were I like it was definitely like way more like 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 kind of like you, you were saying too. Like when they were doing the falls and they were doing the yeah. stunts, they weren't all in. Yeah, I they weren't I like, like I'm gonna were... fucking throw myself on this yeah. and we're gonna make it look good. It was more like oh, yeah. I'm just gonna place myself At, here. And it I was know, one of those you know you have to do safety first and well, everything. Safety should never be. First. But there's a certain, <laughs> but there's a certain amount of, um, commitment. Yes. Uh, when you're when you're doing something, um, like we were talking about when we were doing films, yeah, that little thing back in the end, but they people would slap. Yeah, they fucking like, slap like, the shit I, out of me. I know when I was doing a a, a, a scene from um, a Shakespeare, scene, we were doing Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I was I was doing a Tybalt, and um, we incorporated a slap. It was before Capulet. It was the that's the thing where you're yelling at him. Either way. Uh, we incorporated a slap, and me and uh, the guy I was working opposite of, uh, we were talking, and I was like, look, man, the way we want to do this scene, just crack me. Just crack I was me. like, just flat out yep. rock me, because and, and I'll use it, and I'll make it work, and it will be good. And it was. It was. It was a very good scene. I, th I At least I thought so, and you got good feedback from it and everything. But there's this time where you just have to commit, and... I know you don't have stunt doubles, and I know you don't always have uh, the budgets for effects and all the things that you need to make things look as believable as possible. But sometimes you just gotta go for it and just be mm. like, just, just hit me, just throw me. Yeah. Like we'll make it as safe as possible, but like I want this to look as I good as possible. I want it to look bad. Like yeah. throw me against the wall. Yeah, like, really. Yeah. yeah. When I was doing camp, we were doing like those, those promo cameo bullshits for the uh, or the promos for the wrestling things. And yeah. And the guy says, hit him as hard as you fucking can. Yeah. And she cracked the shit out of me. Yeah, exactly. And then I choked the hell out of her. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. just, but it looked good. Yeah, you right? make it, you gotta try and make it work. But when and you go, oh. Yeah, oh, I, and I felt, oh, yeah, it's a I felt like, yeah, day, I felt like some, of the, some of the falling, some of the hits, some of the, uh, I think some stage combat courses would be really beneficial for mm -hmm. some of these films. And maybe, you know, later on, or, I, and, I, and I, I was looking at the legacy. I mean, honestly, like, a lot of this, a lot of what they do is, Practice back bumps. Practice yeah. front bumps. Like, how do you take a back bump? Like, just yeah. do like fall mat stuff. Like, yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's, like I said, there's certain um, stage combat courses and things that can be done. And again, this this one came out in I believe 2012 is 2012 is when you what, said the what, one was, was out. What, what it looked like, but looked, like you know, but, and it was really nice watching uh, Rotten Harvest. They pull up. He's like, is those fucking? Camaros? I was like, I was like, those are Corvettes. And then I was like, now those are. Pontiac. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's close. I, was, I thought it was a Mitsubishi. <laughs> it looked good, though. Yeah, they looked good. Yeah. They looked sharp. Exactly. Looked and like that's the other Pontiac. thing is, like, uh, people that own Half to Sandusky in a, in, a, in a more, like, you know, temporary fashion, contemporary fashion, don't pull up in Pontiacs. They pull up yeah. in Mercedes. Or they pull yeah, up in, the, yeah, be a Maudis and all that thing. stuff. Like so, but people that run bike gangs and, and run illegal meth, they pull up in mm -hmm. Pontiac mm -hmm. Sunfires. And we, a you, white one that's yeah, the fuck out. Exactly. You have to put that into the context. So, um, yeah, it's just things like that. So, but, you know, we had a good time watching it and I'm going to, probably going to take one of the beers home just to enjoy before I go to bed. I'm so. going to do one of these before I go to bed. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, well, this has been Paul. And Mike. Maniacs Meet Podcast. I mean, we're up in the episodes. We're up there. I think we are. We're kind of like the 75 category. Oh, I don't shit. know where we are, but we're going to have our hundreds. Yeah. If we're going to keep this up, we're going to have our and hundreds pretty soon. So. Legacy versus, like, keep... Legacy vs. Productions presents Rotten Harvest, and it was fucking fun. It was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Keep doing, keep doing the independent film. Keep throwing them out there, even and if, actually, even if you're getting uh, shit we on. did, like. we did get some messages from Keith and and yeah. Rico and 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 Rick. Yeah, which made my dick go hard. Yeah, it was it was really awesome that we really were like. Awesome. I was thinking, I was like, well, if I get some good internets. Yeah. Then you and I can be here, and we can get a stream yard going. Yeah. We can add, add them to the stream yard, and then we can do like a Q and A session where we just talk about the films. And what was your? Why did you start it? What was your uh, intent? What's your biggest goal so far? What's your biggest triumph so far? What's your biggest fail so yeah. far? Yeah. What was the struggles that you had as a filmmaker? Because there's a lot that go into these. Yes. A lot. A lot. 
Yeah. And you whether or not you think they're good or, you know, or not, you there's know, the, a lot the of The biggest love. thing that, that goes into this that I love is dreams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. Goals, you're absolutely you know, right. Those things, you know. And uh, and 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 weighing against um, odds. Like, oh, well, you don't yeah. have any money. You can't do a film. Well, fuck you. I'll yeah, do fuck one. Yeah, I'm going to you know, do, exactly. do my film. So I want to talk to them about that. Come up yeah. with a, like, we'll come up with a series of questions. We'll and maybe see about. Couch, and, and, I think we should do it from the bar. Maybe the bar. Maybe with some lighting. You know, yeah, I mean, we'll make, we'll make this film, or our film, look better than theirs. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, but you know and and actually I have a, a little Q and A with we'll see whoever wants to come on. Um, I, I think Rico would probably be came for it as long as with London, because they help. Like for instance, he helped write this. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So um, I don't know if we can get Rick Jane, uh, Rick Davis on. I don't know if I, uh, I would like to get as many of them on as are as, as to humanly get possible. Just like say um, like because everyone's gonna have different stories. Yeah, and and I would love to hear. I would love to hear from everybody. I would love to. I'd like to get nudes from some. Yeah, you know, if that's obviously. all possible. Yeah, you know, especially the wish. guys or girls. Yeah, and, that's fine. Uh, Rick we Davis. We're not absolutely you know, we don't discriminate. No, no, but definitely uh, the witch from part two of Reaper. Yeah, absolutely. But we're uh, all about the same age. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I don't care. Uh, but the. I had a great time watching it. Yeah, it's 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 always fun. Um, I would say the Living Good, Tom Living Good, mm -hmm. he went down a little bit in the in this yeah. one compared to the Reaper. Like yeah. he was a real dick, and I really liked him in that one. So. Yeah. But no, but yeah, I think that we had a good podcast right now. Yeah, I think I think I, it's a winner. I think I think it's a winner, and I, I would like to see Legacy Verse. I would like to. I I, I was checking out their stuff. It looks like they were doing some newer oh, yeah. things as well, and I would like um, to check some. I have two out. more for sure. One is called, it's a really short film though, so we'll probably do that one along with maybe we'll do the Dracula's Widow from 88, yeah. but it's called The Safe Place. But it's a very, it's a very short zombie film. I would still like us to do Blood and Donuts. We'll do Blood and Donuts and we'll do Blood and Chocolate. That sounds wonderful. It's a really bad film. <laughs> I've seen Blood and Chocolate. Oh. I would like to watch it again. I started now. and I had to shut it off because I was just maybe violently yeah, ill. Uh, I think we should, yeah, Blood and Donuts and Blood and Chocolate would be good. I think we'll we still need to do the um, Maniac. Or Maniac, Maniac. Well, we have to do the Fog and Fog. Fog and, and the fog, Mist and the Mist. And, mist and the Mist. Yeah. But, uh, fog and Fog is going to be uh, I, I bought that when you went. I just hate it. I hate everything about it. Oh. But then we do the safe place from them. And then the other one I have is Infected. Mm -hmm. So we have to do that. Yeah, there's yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of their stuff. I like mm -hmm. their I like their longer format one. Oh, me too. Yeah, I, I do. Now I really they do. gave me a blank disc with some stuff on it, but I don't know what's on it. So we'll have to oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know what's on it. It's gonna be maybe it's gonna be like the Legacy Verse grab bag, whatever the hell's yeah, on it, mystery disc. Yeah, no know. Legacy Verse mystery disc. See whatever the fuck's on. We'll watch all. Maybe of it. it's a bunch of porn they downloaded. I like, hope so. <laughs> I really do. I really do. So. Anyway, this has been Paul. I'm Mike. Maniacs Meet Podcast. We'll see you on the next time. Cheers. Cheers. Watch that finger. Watch that finger.